Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Full Play Games. It has been a very long time. It has been three and a half years. Three and a half years, wow. Has it really? Well it seems fairly fitting that um, the channel started with a Euro Truck Simulator 2 special. It ended with a Euro Truck Simulator 2 special. And it's back with a Euro Truck Simulator 2 special. This time, we are doing Operation Genoa Bridge. Now, those of you who may not know, um, the big bridge in Genoa collapsed in, I think it was August 2018, uh, killing over 40 people, I think the figure was in the end. And, well, let's just say it's been a bit of a scar on the landscape ever since. However, the good news is that they've finished building it and it is set to reopen in uh, in July 2020 so that's next month at the time of recording hopefully at the time that it comes out again that, that this video comes out I mean so yes this is the bridge as it stands at the moment in the game the main aim of this game is to deliver six loads to or from um, a depot or either end of the bridge so this is one of them at the east and the west is just over here, past these tunnels. It's pretty much the same sort of depot at either end. We'll just go back into our truck now. So recently there was an update that really improved the audio in this game. At the moment we've got our, our windows open. Uh, there's a hissing noise from outside and I've got no idea where that's coming from. There's a bit of traffic going past, but it's not from there. So we can close our windows and see if that makes a difference. Ah, I can't because the engine's not on. Now I'm trying to operate the windows and you can see the switch is moving. <laughs> now you, you have to actually bind them to, the, uh, to your keyboard yourself. Now if you hold the button down, it only moves for as long as you hold the button down. But if you if you just click the button a little bit, it will automatically open it all the way or close it all the way. It's really good, it's how it works in a proper in a proper one. So it's a lot quieter when you uh, close the windows. So we're gonna head off to the bridge now and find out what we've uh, what we've got. So yes, we need to deliver 12 loads in total. Six to and from the West Depot. And six to and from the East Depot. So the stuff from the bridge itself is probably just gonna be waste or maybe um, heavy equipment that needs to go back to where it came from. Now I am using a couple of mods on this profile. Um, not pro mods of course, because it doesn't work with um, external contracts and that's what this event uses to keep track of what you've done. Um, I have a no damage mod on because incurring damage when you're driving around is a little bit annoying I find. <laughs> And uh, the other mod I've got is one which puts the camera a bit further away when you're viewing the, your truck from outside. So it's a little bit more cinematic. So here we are, we're entering the construction site now, so we've got to slow down a bit. Look at this, we're allowed through, but nobody else is. I feel so special. <laughs> so we should just be picking up waste or maybe a piece of heavy equipment. 
we've just got to go into the menu now and pick up external contract so so yes you can see those are the east um, sorry those are the west depot which is over there see you, you can't zoom in on the job map so you can't really see but these are the west ones and those are the east depot so we have to make sure that we only go for the west depot jobs so those are just going uh, back into Genoa not Turin there quite a few going to Turin that's going all the way to Nice that's quite a long way <laughs> No, uh, that's from the company in uh, Genoa itself, not the bridge, so that won't count. There's plenty of East jobs. So we're just going to sort by um, origin. Now, come on, click on origin, not expiration. It's a bit tricky to control the mouse using the Xbox controller. Now it doesn't look as if it's actually sorted because there's, oh, you know what it is. It's sorted by the, yeah. Origin is the city, sender is the actual company. So there we go. None of those east ones, a couple of west ones there. So it hasn't actually sorted it hasn't actually sorted properly. It's all the same. It's all the same company, but it hasn't sorted the west from the east ones. So we've got uh, soil going to Florence. Uh, that's a wheel loader to Livorno. Um, those are the nice ones again. The East to scrap metal stature in, which is a nice short job. Yeah, we'll do that one. Nice short job just to get going. No, I think that's that's all the jobs we have. So what should we do? The scrap metals or the wheel loader? Or the backhoe loader? Because that gives us a bit more money. Does that give us more money? Let's just double check. No, that one gives us more money. There we go, we'll do the wheel loader. Right, there we go. <laughs> so yes, let's have a look at the map first. Um, that's Genoa itself. And then that's where the bridge is missing. So um, that is a massive detour. It's a huge detour to get from one side of the bridge to the other. Wow. <laughs> well, you can certainly see why they need this bridge built. You can certainly see why they need this bridge. So there's our load over there. So yes, the audio system has been rebuilt from the ground up and it sounds absolutely amazing. I'm going to try not going on about it too much. Um, but I was playing this for about two hours last night, just listening to the sounds on my headphones. A bit ASMR it was actually. I mean, when you're driving forwards and backwards trying to manoeuvre, it does get a bit a little bit annoying but when you're cruising down the road it's lovely so there we go let's get cracking I'm just changing the dashboard now to see the to show the cruise control display 
Ah, there we go, we're on the road again. Ah, it's good to be back. So have a listen to the engine as we go through the tunnel. It actually sounds as if you're going through an enclosed space. You get the, the reverb, the echo. And it's the same thing when you're uh, filling with fuel in a fuel station and they have a canopy above you. You, know, you, you can hear the reverb from the roof. It's, it's great. So actually, I haven't turned my advisor back on <laughs> after the uh, the introduction and everything. There we go. Uh, yeah, just have to sort the zoom level out. Okay, there we are. There we go. That's better. We can see what we're doing. Everything's back the way it was. So there won't be too much commentary on this because, and I'm going to let you in, into a little secret right now. Uh, there we go, up in the window. You can hear the difference. Especially through the tunnel. Sounds like a very powerful engine there. <laughs> right, so... I'm actually recording this after I played it. Um, because the uh, my actual voiceover from the first time got an awful lot of noise on it. There's an awful lot of sort of electronic noise on it, and I I think my I think the microphone I was using is now incredibly faulty. Um, something there is incredibly faulty, so I'm now using a slightly different setup. Um. I'm actually using a shotgun microphone attached to my camcorder, which is not ideal, but it's a fairly decent microphone, so hopefully this all sounds okay to you. Um, the only downside is that it does pick up sounds from a much... It, it picks up all the noise in the room, basically. Whereas my, my other... My other one was basically had to be right on it in order to get any kind of sound at all. It does mean there isn't a microphone right up in my face, which is quite nice. You know, I'm, I'm sort of sitting back and relaxed. It's actually off to one side. So the advantage of looking at this back is that, um, well yeah, the advantage of watching this back is that I'm seeing these at the same time that you are, really. And I can correct some small mistakes that I made along the way the first time. So back there at that junction, um, I changed lanes because it seems to be a recurring theme in the first couple of episodes of this that I I never really knew what the inside lane was going to do. Was it going to come off at the junction like the sign said it was or did it remain on the road? Because the signs aren't entirely clear. So here's another one look. Right, so if I want to go to Turin, right, do I have to be in that left-hand lane, or can I stay in this one? Well, according to the signs, I need to move over to the left. But actually, here we go. Now we can stay in these lanes. The, the signs aren't entirely clear, and it does become a bit of a confusion at some points during this playthrough.
So in this profile, I'm only something like level 12, which is a bit of a problem um, because I don't have access to all the all the good engines and gearboxes and more powerful parts. So here we go, we're nearly there. Just gotta wait for these traffic lights round the corner, drop it off and it's job done. Lovely. So of course, because I'm recording this after the fact, I'm not gonna be putting in, I'm not gonna be copying the, um, the commentary I did last time. I'm listening to it as I'm going and I'm I'm picking up on the points I said last time and I'm trying to put them in if it's suitable. If it's just me rambling then I'm not going to bother but yeah. So on most of these I use play it safe. So we'll just pop it over in the corner here and that'll be easy because I'm not in a particular rush to get XP on this profile. And there we go. There we go. Level 12. I'm almost level 13. So we're going to see if we can get an east job. A job to the east depot, that is. So these, this is where you can see exactly what you've done and what you need to do and all the details behind the uh, the bridge each depot needs half a million deliveries in order to unlock the community uh, reward you get a, a few things for doing it you get an achievement and a paint job and of course the compulsory plush toy. You get the little plush toy from every one of these that you do. Quite collectible. So back to external contracts and we'll see. So at this point we can just go back to either of the Genoa depots. That there's one to the east, which is kind of what we're looking for. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got a wheel loaded to the east. We've just brought that one from the West Depot. It's the same one we took and it's now going back. <laughs> oh, it's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, it doesn't appear to be anything else. Oh, there's a couple of things up there. Iron pipes to both west and east. So the big decision is, do we go east or west? So west is a bit more, because surely that's closer. So surely the east would be closer. Mind you, the, the west one is heavier. Anyway, we'll do the east one because we're going to try and keep the the number of jobs done for each in sync as much as we can. So one benefit of using this profile rather than the ProMods profile is that it loads a lot quicker. Because it, it, it takes minutes to load the ProMods profile. I mean, there's an awful lot to load, so it's perfectly understandable, but it does take a very long time. But thankfully on this profile, they're, they're so quick, I wouldn't have to um, edit them out afterwards. And off we go.
So it's pretty much exactly the same route. Just got to make sure that nothing's coming. Plenty of room out the gate. There we are. So waiting for some more traffic lights. Now you see this little van in front of us. They're new. I'm not entirely sure when they were added to the game, but they are fairly new. I haven't. I don't remember seeing them. Um, I don't remember seeing them until very recently. I mean, all that stuff in the back of that truck. <laughs> you know, it, it's great that there's more variety in the AI traffic. And also, AI traffic seems a bit more intelligent than they used to be. Well, they may not be more intelligent, but they're certainly more realistic than they used to be. I mean, they still do odd things, but the odd things they do are more in line with what real drivers would do. So you do get bad drivers. So in addition to this game, I've also been playing uh, things like SnowRunner and Derail Valley. And the problem is SnowRunner's kind of spoiled me for truck simulators now. Because it, it looks absolutely amazing. You know, not, not just all the, the mud physics and stuff, but the actual environment looks... Oops. <laughs> the actual environment looks so much better than this. But Euro Truck Simulator kind of makes up for it with... Um, it kind of makes up for it though with a, a much bigger world. I mean, you know, they're, they're two completely different games. I mean, yes, you drive trucks in both of them, but they're two completely different games. So right now in the original commentary I'm going on about the audio again, which is kind of ironic seeing there's the microphone messed up on me, but I'm going on about the updated audio. So I'm, I'm not going to subject you to that a second time. So the only problem with this microphone is that you can probably hear me moving around. You can probably hear my chair. It's um, it's not ideal, but you probably can. So we're just going past the rest stop now. Um, This might be considered a bit of a spoiler, but we do run into some fuel problems a bit later where if that rest stop had had a, a fuel stop there as well, it would really have helped. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's 
So yes, it feels good to be doing this. I mean, it was three and a half years since um, since our last episode. It's a hell of a hiatus. <laughs> and that was only the Christmas special. You know, ten episodes. Um, there was ten episodes of uh, Euro Truck and American Truck Sim towards the end of December around Christmas of course in one week and before that then it was October and even then that was after a bit of a hiatus anyway so yeah it's not been all that consistent uh, towards the end but anyway we're back and you know how things are going on in the world at the moment people are spending a lot of time at home they've got time on their hands and that's why I'm back basically but anyway I'm going to leave you now with the rest of this trip to to enjoy the audio because that's what I did last time Anyway, I've just noticed that this profile is set to miles per hour and not kilometers. So we're going to have to change that when we uh, when we finish this job. So yes, we're coming up to the road closure now. So this truck is going to have to decide where he's going. <laughs> And here we are. The Italian police seriously have one of those. They officially have far too much money. If they can afford to run one of those. So the basic plan for this little series is to do two jobs per episode. Because one won't be enough, but two will be just right. But more than that, more than that, it's a bit too much to do at once. So one thing you may notice is that the video quality isn't the best. Now, the video quality isn't the best, and it's because I'm using OBS to record this. Um, before the break, I used to use Elgato uh, exclusively, but I'm using OBS when I'm using the PC. And unfortunately, um, the default settings for OBS, um, they aren't set for a very high bitrate. So the first recording session is going to be a really, really low bit rate. So it's not going to look all that great. So it's this episode and next episode. It's not going to look so great. But episode three onwards will be back to normal. And there we go. Job done. One job for the west, one job for the east. And there we go, we've leveled up. Level 13. And that makes 90 World of Trucks jobs done. So let's see. This profile hasn't got much unlocked. So we should probably go for ADR because we've unlocked everything else. 
that unlocks extra jobs. All those other points will um, give us more, a higher reward for jobs completed. So yes, we're just going to unlock that one. So thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. So once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.